So if you're going to watch a squat video, on official strongman, don't watch Evan Singleton's because you can't squat. Watch mine. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, back down at the LR Strength Shed today on this hot day, 32 degrees. I think I'm going to die, but still got to train. I've got uh, squats and then some sort of event stuff today. Uh, so I've got a top set of 320 for five with knee wraps. My fourth week using knee wraps. I never used them before. So going from sleeves to wraps has been something I've had to kind of learn, but. Uh, it's getting easier, it never gets more comfortable, but it gets easier. And then I get some light yoke with uh, the sort of speed run, so it's a 10 meter drop and turn. Four sets of that at 270, so that's just focusing on uh, start speed for the first half, obviously. And then uh, getting really good at the pickups and being able to sort of switch over fast. And then I've been given some notice for a competition that is going to be happening. Quite a lot to do today. You know, the front hold and the throwing bag aren't really going to be taxing at all. So, you know, it was planned to be squats, yoke and stones, but just chucking them extra two in today, just for some more sort of skill practices. I haven't done them before and I haven't got long till this show. So, yeah, enjoy the video. Uh, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to jump 50 kilos on my top one. Like I say, I mean, I've squatted, well, fucking hell, it'll be nearly two years ago, too. Two years ago, I squatted 403 kilos in knee sleeves. Uh, so, you know, I'm stronger than that now. And, um, you know, the squat stuff, it's not, obviously, it is a priority, but it's not heavy enough where. You know, I need to really, really be cautious with warm-ups. I can, and on a day like this, <laughs> I don't want to be warming up too much anyway, because it's already fucking warm. Uh, so, I'll just jump reds, because it's 320, so just six reds on, so I'll just jump reds all the way up. Although squats is the first exercise, it is quite light. Uh, and then I like to put a bit more focus on the events that I've got coming up, because obviously that's what I need to improve on. You know, I could probably prep for a world's strongest man squat, with not much time and I think still be able to, to win it, um, in my opinion. Uh, so, you know, still doing it, still getting stronger at it, but try and nail it off and then get stuck into the other stuff. Hey, look, what's fucking going on here? Got another one. What the fuck do I do now? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Right. No, 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 put your right, grab your... Put your right hand on the end, on the end of it. Yeah? Yeah, get it tight, fill it up. Use your left hand to go down, underneath the rack and under, and then you bring your hands together. Put your hand all the way through, yeah. Bring your right hand down. And then you put it through. Okay. I've started using wraps because I get quite bad um, uh, patella tendonitis from push pressing. So when I was push pressing twice a week, my knees were getting really sore. But then although I'm only push pressing once a week now, it makes sense to keep them in because if I go to World's Strongest Man, we're we'll squatting in wraps and probably a suit as well. You know, practice how you're going to compete. Obviously there'll be a time and a place to build strength up in knee sleeves and easy factor in knee sleeves is they don't take as much time to wrap, it's not as much effort. However, if I'm going to compete like this, I may as well train like this. Uh, and my knees do feel better after it. Uh, it's almost like flossing your knees. Flossing your knees, add a bit more weight to the bar, it's more specific. Like, what more do you want? I haven't been doing anything heavy. I mean, I've only been doing fives at like, I think week one I was 250, week two I was 280, and then week three I was 300. And I'm 320 today, so it's nothing heavy, you know, I've done more than that in sleeves for five, but it feels easier, even with the two metre wraps that I was using for the first three weeks. Uh, now my friend Carol, also known as Cal, has uh, kindly let me try out his uh, three metre ones. You know, I've got quite big knees, so these are a lot more comfortable and a lot more effective at getting sort of the reds that I need to actually get some out of them. Before I just felt like I was flossing my knees and not really getting much out of them, but even that on 220 felt a lot nicer, so yeah. I don't have a clue about wrapping. The first session I wrapped, I just 
basically copied like the two seconds of video training clips that I've seen of other people wrapping their knees and you know it, it, I thought it worked uh, gone through some wrapping with the man behind the camera Joe today and uh, Carl and it feels better I know it's only 220 but hopefully that'll carry over to kind of my top set a bit better today and then I'll be able to start pushing that on from 320 sort of into new territory for my squat which would be nice I was someone who would probably get a lot out of wraps if I used them when I was lifting in these sleeves because uh, I'm quite narrow get my knees really far forward uh, so now I'm using wraps I can exploit that even more but a cue that I like using the wraps is keeping my knees out and also try to push my toes into the floor so it stops my uh, knees from shooting back because there's so much rebounding and strength in my quads anyway plus the wrap so it stops my hips from shooting up and it keeps my knees forward so I can you know use the wrap and use my strong legs. Got the wrap higher, got it a bit tighter, and then got them off easier as well. I'm already a professional. <laughs> that was a nice, that felt like a nice spot. 320 for five up next. Try and make that feel sort of as good. Do you want to do high bar? Yeah. Because I haven't done high bar for ages. It's like my traps aren't conditioned to it anymore, so as soon as I pick it up, it's like fucking really crushing whereas when I was doing low bar it's not actually sat on top of me it feels like I'm like wedged under it mm. maybe that's just a tightness thing I'm not sure yeah compared to like uh, a raw 275 uh, or 270 sorry to be fair I mean compared to what I've been doing recently it's probably much faster um, in my power from the day they used to squat so quick I don't know why but then it's high bar as well so you know it, it did feel quick I'm not sure how it looked it looked really it felt really quick though so, put another red on, set a five, and then crack on with the event. They all felt a bit minging and inconsistent, but I think I can definitely get more revs out of the wraps. And then in terms of the squatting, although it isn't necessarily a priority right now, it is important. Uh, I think back tightness, I don't know why. I think it's because I'm high bar, so obviously I'm used to on a barbell squatting low bar, so I'm getting pitched forward. If I was squatting low bar, that'd probably be over midfoot. But because I'm high bar, I'm getting taken forward because I'm like, uh, I'm behind my line slightly, I should be probably a bit more upright just because it is sat higher on me whereas I think I'm probably leaning forward a bit too much but if I stay more upright I'm just going to use the wraps more anyway so it's all to work on innit and I'm getting up to weights on here that I haven't been up to a while uh, and plus the wraps there's quite a lot sort of new going on but you know it'll come with time it'll probably, it'll probably be another four weeks and I'll have it nailed so my first three sessions in wraps I did 250 for four sets of five, 280 for three sets of five, 300 for two sets of five, and then uh, 320 for one top set of five. Uh, my best set of five in sleeves was uh, 330 low bar, a moderately tough set. Um, you could say it was it was, it was easier because it was low bar, but I wasn't wearing knee wraps, so probably somewhat like sort of balances it out, I suppose. But then you know, then I was squatting twice a week, so. You know, I'm squatting once a week now and I'm doing, say, like one top set today. So to be stronger than I was and be able to still progress my moving events because I've not gone all out on here and I can still push really hard on there, you know. It's a bit, it's quite a nice warm up for the moving events actually, I find. Like, I feel, feel obviously really good now, my legs are warm, my back feels solid. So get under a 270 yoke now, I probably feel like fuck off. So that's probably a bit of strategy in it as well. That was a little uh, squat session from me before my events. That I'm about to do now, but you can see that I'm part two. Uh, so thanks for watching me squat. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. You know, getting back to my powerlifting roots a bit, a little bit. Uh, and stay tuned for part two, and I'll see you over there.